Did you know that only one-tenth of a percent of DNA differs from person to person? But these small differences are making big advancements in the criminal justice system possible. I'm talking about forensic DNA. Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioBytes. Although 99.9% .9 of human DNA sequences are the same in every person, enough of the DNA is different to distinguish one individual from another. DNA typing, or fingerprinting, uses the small genetic differences among individuals to determine when DNA samples match. Forensic DNA analysis compares DNA from hair, skin, blood, and other fluid samples that may be found at a crime scene to the DNA of suspects. This field of biotechnology was first developed by a British geneticist in the mid-1980s. Now, forensic DNA analysis is being used by law enforcement agencies all over the world. There are many different complex laboratory techniques that can be used for DNA typing. Basically, it involves determining a genetic profile or fingerprint. In other words, a DNA sequence that is virtually unique to an individual. Determining a genetic fingerprint focuses on analysis of repetitive DNA sequences that are so variable between people that unrelated individuals are extremely unlikely to have the same profile. In other words, genetic fingerprinting focuses on part of the one-tenth of the one percent of the DNA that varies among people. For criminal forensic analysis, detectives must carefully collect samples from a crime scene and give them to a criminal forensic laboratory where the genetic fingerprint of the DNA sample can be determined and compared to a suspect's genetic fingerprint. Another technique used in DNA typing is mitochondrial DNA analysis. Mitochondria are subunits within cells that generate most of the cell's energy. Mitochondria have their own small set of DNA that is separate from the nuclear DNA that can be analyzed for DNA fingerprinting. Nearly all of the DNA contained within the mitochondria is inherited solely from the individual's mother. This means that comparison of this DNA to the mitochondrial DNA of any maternal relative can be used to aid missing person investigations or to identify remains. In criminal investigations, DNA can be used either to implicate a suspect or clear a person's name. DNA typing has been used in the prosecution of numerous crimes, including serious crimes such as rape and murder. DNA can also be used to link the DNA found at a crime scene to a DNA database of previously convicted criminals, giving law enforcement officials more evidence to find and convict criminals. In addition to solving crimes and putting guilty people in prison, DNA evidence can also exonerate innocent individuals. Since the advent of this field, DNA typing has freed more than 200 wrongly convicted people who were incarcerated before DNA technology was available. Perhaps most impressively, DNA fingerprinting also has exonerated and saved the lives of 16 innocent death row prisoners. Forensic DNA continues to help investigators solve difficult cases and make sure the right people are held accountable for their crimes. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.